zero printing or embossing form, including the various technologies applied, like electromechanical engraving, direct laser engraving, etching, and embossing. Each rotogravure cylinder is built on a cylinder base. Conventional bases are made of steel. However, the market's need is prompting Ianashka to make continuous developments in the areas of lighter weight and other innovative solutions offering easier handling as well as time and cost savings. The steel base is coated with copper by means of electroplating. The copper layer is either the material to be engraved, etched or embossed, or the basis for further coatings. Grinding or cutting to size and polishing are done according to detailed customer specifications with a view to further processing. Rotogravure printing is based on one printing form per color. Hence, a design buildup in four colors, for example, requires four rotogravure printing cylinders. Moreover, brand or product-specific packaging details, like the logo, may be highlighted by the application of any spot color. Higher quality and added value are ensured. Electromechanical engraving is one of the conventional engraving technologies. With its reliable and high quality results, it belongs to the well-established engraving techniques in the market. Electromechanical engraving technology ensures high-quality print results on most substrates. Driven by electromechanical pulses, the diamond stylus engraves the so-called cells into the copper surface. The size and depth of these cells define the ink volume to be transferred on to the printing material during the print run, and consequently the color density on the printing substrate. All engraved cells reproduce the full packaging motif to be printed later on. Laser engraving is ideal for the reproduction of soft vignettes and small fonts on substrates such as aluminum. The direct laser technology belongs to the younger engraving techniques launched on the market in the beginning of the 1990s. This technique requires a zinc layer that is applied on top of the copper coating by means of an electroplating process. The basic difference in respect to material is the zinc's surface properties. Direct laser system uses a laser beam to create the image onto the zinc surface without actually touching the cylinder. Variety in depth and shape of the cells offers the perfect range of reproduction options for all kinds of motifs and their specific details. The excellent quality of the direct laser is evident by the contour sharpness, the high resolution image reproduction and perfect halftones. Line and text elements are characterized by optimal acuity and perfect solid tones.
the etching technology is known as the first illustration technique for rotary rotogravure printing. This conventional technology is characterized by its very high engraving resolution, which makes it ideal for the highly demanding requirements of security printing. Before starting the laser process, an etching resist is coated onto the whole copper cylinder. This layer protects the cylinder against the ferric chloride during the etching. Its thickness may vary from 3 microns to 5 microns, depending on the requested etching depth. The laser process reproduces the design onto the etching resist by removing it. The copper remains unaffected by this production step. Etching is a chemical process. The cells are etched onto the copper layer by means of an etching solution, which is the ferric chloride. This is exclusively possible on those spots where the etching resist was already removed by the laser processing. The etching technology ensures exact edges for the smallest fonts, lines and symbols. The etching resist is completely removed before the last production step, the chrome plating. 